No one believed in the New York Yankees more than I did on yesterday's program. We have a World Series Game 5 that we will talk about in both our double play and best bet section today. Mark Zinno, the Yankees. What a well-managed team. Huh? Still alive. I'm going to threaten you and your entire family if you keep this up. Okay? Okay? Leave my family out of it. Fine. Leave my family out of it. I actually like them. They are fine people. (laughs) You, however, asshole. Okay? So, yeah. Let's not... uh, Yes, he did. Well, the ball gets crowded. Good. Yeah. I mean, listen, I barely finished my cup of coffee this morning, and you're already pissing me off. So let's just play nice in the sandbox for a little bit. How about you get a little warming up going, you know, kind of get some good feelings and emotions going before you decide to, you know, be a jack. Infuriate you? Okay. Yeah. Well, Look, you all should right. just never say. Right now, if your first name is Aaron and you are in professional sports in New York, you should just get out because Boone. Judge, Rogers, they all suck. How about that video I sent you? About <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Hey, hey, Ron. You done messed up. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about World Series Game 5 tonight. Uh, you are going to take a look. We've got angles on both the side and total for the first five coming up in this show. Mark Zeno, with only the eloquence that you could provide, you will be talking about the first five side and how you're playing it uh, right now. I mean, for the first time in this series, I actually feel good about the Yankees and the position that they're in. Like, I don't feel like I'm running on my second seat. Um, And oh, by the way, can we just just revisit how bad this is? Because if Aaron Boone didn't screw up game one, this would be a 2-2 series right now. Like, all he had to do was bring in Tim Hill. All he had to do, instead of getting fat Nestor Cortez, all he had to do was bring in Tim Hill. And uh, and we have a 2-2 series and a World Series that's worth watching. But here's where I'm going tonight. First five, money line. I understand it's juicy. I would endorse a first five run line. And I'm even going to throw your free prop out there that I really like, even though Ryan Powers like, well, I don't know about that one. I don't know. Anyway, but here's my breakdown. Didn't say that. I know you didn't. Look, Garrett Cole, I expect him to have ace-level stuff, right? I mean, even though his numbers at home this year – haven't been as good as they've been on the road. I still expect him to have ace-level stuff tonight and at least carry the Yankees through five innings and limit the Dodgers, similar to what he did in game one. I think he only gives up maybe one, maybe two runs at most, and I'm worried about the home run ball being part of it. Um, but I trust Cole in this spot. This is why you paid him. The guy's going to get, you know, he's going to be a, an animal out there. He's going to be a dog, as the kids say, and he's a gamer. So that's there. Jack Flaherty starts for. LA. Now, Flaherty has not put together back to back starts that have been good starts once in his entire time in a Dodgers uniform. I, I mean, let me rephrase that. There were, but it wasn't even a quality start because they only went five and two thirds against Arizona and then shut out Cleveland. But other than that, it's been a good start, bad start, good start, but even in the postseason, bad start against the Padres, good start against the Mets, bad start against the Mets, good start against the Yankees. Time for another bad start. And I also would endorse Jack Flaherty under 14 and a half outs at plus money because here's the thing with a bull with a day off tomorrow the first sign of trouble dave roberts who used none of his good bullpen arms yesterday will absolutely go yank him in favor of a better bullpen like that's the way i think this game breaks down if the yankees put one or two up early and they are threatening for more bye bye jack jack off out that's what's going to happen Okay, so uh, I like the Yankees here. First five, I'm willing to pay the juice to put the money line, uh, the tie in my pocket. But again, I would endorse laying a half run with the Yankees in the first five as well if you're a little less juice tolerant. But Jack Flaherty under 14 and a half outs. Yankees first five money line. Let's go. Yankees first five money line. The official entry by Mark Zinno for today's double play. Yeah, Cole has been an innings eater. He's the... uh, Postseason leader in innings pitched uh, across all of Major League Baseball. We will get back to the World Series in a moment, but I am going to bring some college football into the equation. Uh, I talked about this yesterday at a wager talk today, and if you listened to this show last week, then you know Mark and I told you to take Kennesaw State, lowly Kennesaw State, plus the points against Liberty. Cue the owl gif. Uh, It turned up 
being one of the biggest upsets of the entire college football season, Mark, Kennesaw State wins outright their first FBS win ever. It was Liberty's first loss of the season. Uh, by the way, speaking up, I had Northern Illinois plus 28 against Notre Dame this year. So I, I've been, I've uh, actually uh, had a pretty good uh Pretty good feel for some of the biggest upsets is, this year. Can you go a whole show without stroking yourself? Is it possible? My hands are right here, buddy. I'm not stroking anything. I mean, All right, like, verbally, let's get verbally. Like, it's, okay. like, it, like it, just we know you're good at this. Stop. Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, Back I had to really good boy against Notre Dame. They went out right as well. That was a good play. It was a good, good play. play. Let's get let's get back to Liberty. Okay. Right, uh, right. Obviously. Their hopes and dreams, the fighting Jerry Falwells, okay? Uh, they had their hopes and dreams dashed. Uh, they can no longer make the G5 playoff. We talked about it last week. No one wanted them uh, 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 to be in the college football playoff as the G5 rep. Now, a key thing we talked about last week on the show, Mark, was they had only played once Liberty in 32 days going up to that game. That's correct because the Appalachian State game got canceled. I think Liberty here at home only needing a straight-up win, I think that's a pretty good deal. They've won 12 straight home games. The only time previous to this they've closed a single-digit favorite was their one ATS win this year when they beat East Carolina. I think it's a buy-low spot on the Flames at home. You look at the Jacksonville State side. Okay, they've won four straight, all against bottom feeders. This was a t- Rich Rod's team got blown out. Uh, by Coastal Carolina. They've lost to Eastern Michigan. I like Liberty on the money line, minus 125. I think they get back on track in what sets up to maybe be the first of two meetings this year between these teams. They could see each other again in the Conference USA title game. Thoughts? Yeah, nobody wants somebody in the playoffs. I agree with you there. Um, They're not going to be in it. I don't want 12 teams in the playoff. I was very happy with four, but it worked out really well for all of us. I think eight was is the correct answer, but whatever. No. So, well, there we, we go. Been a lot of things, but that's anything here or there. Four's too few. Four's too few. It's fine. They never got it wrong. No. They never once got it wrong. Never once oh, did they, they get the fourth. Right. Oh, oh, the fourth? Okay, that's all right. I said they used to get it. Remember when they used to have sports writers just pick a national champion? That was stupid. Well, yeah, but uh, the BCS was real. Fine. Uh, I was fine was with stupid. two. I'm sure, I'm sure the guy writing for the Charlotte newspaper was really studying the Pac-10 back in 1976 or whatever. Stupid. Well, glad that there's a playoff now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So stupid. You went far enough back to go to the Pac-10. <laughs> yes. Remember when, Remember there were split national champions? That was real dumb. That was also stupid. Just pick one. That was you real. <laughs> like, you couldn't, the top two teams couldn't play. They're like, no, you have to go to this game. Why? Because of some rule we made up in 1920. Anyway, that does it for college football today. Let's mm-hmm. circle back to the World Series. Because you and I agree uh, on the total tonight. We are looking at the first five here again. Uh, you mentioned Flaherty hasn't thrown back-to-back good starts, uh, except with the one exception in a Dodger uniform. But here's the thing. You look at the series as a whole, Mark. The first three games all should have stayed under. Okay, game one only went over because of that uh, unfortunate Grand Slam. Unfortunate, obviously, in your mind and a lot of, in all Yankees fans' mind. But... The Yankees had scored, what, five runs before Volpe's Grand Slam last night in the series? So they had they only had nine hits last night. The Dodgers bullpen, you mentioned, is well-rested. We don't think there's going to be a lot of runs early in this game, or, or maybe for the whole game, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I, I think you have to, as I said earlier, you got to trust Cole, right? Like, Cole is the guy that, you know, you, you paid to be in this spot. Uh, I think you'll get a great effort out of him. If he keeps the ball in the ballpark, um, there is no telling how good he's going to look if he keeps the ball in the ballpark. You know, I mean, it, it just, it, it, that's what it boils down to. I mean, I mentioned to you before that we went on the air, like in game one, there were about I, two I could think of. I think it's maybe three balls that were hit that were outs at the warning track in Dodger Stadium that would be home runs in Yankee Stadium, like we saw Freddie Freeman last night who hit a ball 315 feet over the right field wall to the guy in the front row. Um, that's not a home run in 29 other parks. It's probably a double, and 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 things look a lot different. So, you know, that's what Cole has to avoid tonight. He's got to be able to keep the ball in the ballpark, which I think he will. You know, keep the Yankees in this for at least five innings. Um, even if Flaherty gets touched up, which I kind of expect that he will, as I told you before, I don't think he's going to go five scoreless. Um, no. 
and under 14 and a half outs. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I, I think that we get a first five under here. We get a favorable number with eight total for the game. We're at four and a half here, not three and a half. So let's run with it. I uh, expect the pitchers to be, to be good enough and, and uh, that we stay under four and a half in the first five. So that's Yankees money line. First five under in the World Series. I like Liberty on the money line as well tonight. Let us know your favorite selections for Wednesday by commenting down below. World Series, college football, the NBA. Uh, if you're into that, let it, uh, smash that like button if you already haven't done that. We always appreciate your support. And, of course, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Mark, what do you got going on Wednesday on this fine Wednesday at wagertalk.com? You ripping the ball on anybody's glove like your boy? That was shameful last night. Yeah, that was a D-bag move. Um, there's no doubt about it. To that point, though, those two idiot fans had showed more gut in life than anybody wearing pinstripes. So there is that. Um, you know, they, 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 wanted to, they wanted to win more than anybody wearing pinstripes at that point. So there is that. You know, it was even worth that. Like the second guy who grabbed his forearm, that guy was the guy I wanted ejected. The first guy fighting with the ball, like the glove, yeah, D bag move, but like you know, it's you know, it's New York. There, there are a bunch of a holes running around. There's no doubt about that. But the second guy who grabbed his forearm, that that's the guy that really pissed me off. I would, I wanted him ejected. Anyway, uh, ready, VP? I'll tell you what. Sure. This, this, this is the kind of generous souls that we are. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have I'm not one. What are two plays in the World Series tonight, including the first five play that I gave you guys out a moment ago as well? First NBA play of the season coming out tonight. First NBA play of the year coming out tonight. WT.buzz slash MZ. Mark Zeno peppering the board on a Wednesday. I will have my first World Series play, <laughs> my <laughs> first NBA play as well. WT.buzz slash BP. What, what was that? What? You know, so Saturday Night Live's get Freshy Pepper. Freshy oh, Pepper. Oh, there we go. You threw me off there. I didn't do my usual. I didn't do my usual solid promotional effort of myself. Uh, thank God. Save, save, I mean, there are people watching the show that you know. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, oh there we go. There. We go. <laughs> uh, there we go. He wants to connect. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. I mean, like the the, the viewers kind of drop off as soon as you start talking about your record. I just want you to know that. No, I don't think they do. I've actually checked the minute-by-minute minute ratings. They go through the roof. Oh, that's what it must be. Yes. I have the it YouTube statistics be. right in front of me here. Right in front of me here. Oh, well. <laughs> Wouldn't you love that this right in front of you? I love what, Patty Johnson? By the way, you know, uh, for all the people who are requesting this song, uh, we probably should put it in, like, MP3 format for the world to uh, download. You know? I got put our slash MZ slash BP. Get download Patty Johnson banger. <laughs> we should put that on there just to increase our page views. Yes, we My should. My God, Absolutely. why is everyone going to BP and Mark Zeno's page? There's a Patty Johnson. Download a jingle. Yes. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll catch some tickets. Oh, Give yes. us that thumbs up.